Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angelisa and on this channel we read, discuss, and obsess over books together and today I'm going to be obsessing over my book collection with you. So I decided I would finally do a bookshelf tour slash show you every single book that I own. Um, I've been nervous to do this for a while because I feel like I bought way too many books and just don't judge okay just don't judge we are just going to go through the books that i own um they're kind of all over my house so m a lot of them are here in this bookshelf behind me um as well as in the book room upstairs which i will finally show you guys i'll show you a quick clip as well as of what it looked like before we redid it and then i'll show you the after um and there are some books like around my desk in our living space so let's get right into it we're just gonna like jump into it because there are literally so many books to show you and this is not gonna go in any particular order i'll briefly talk about how i've like arranged them but yeah let's get into it so first of all at the very top here we have basically all of my like taller hardbacks like there's two types of hardbacks like the ya ones basically and the adult ones i guess i think some of these might be ya as well but just to go through them like really quick we have the atlas six and the atlas paradox by olivia blake and then there's sword catcher by cassandra claire one of my instagram friends sent this to me i love her so much bookishly lynn and then i had gotten legendborn and bloodmarked from book outlet and then i got attemptus of tea which i've talked about recently these are like delights which is actually a crazy copy that i got from book outlet and they ended up giving me a refund because it was weird it was like upside down um and then i have fairy tale here by stephen king we have the kingdom of the wicked trilogy by carrie maniscalco and then we have blood like magic which i also am kind of excited to get into eventually here are my fourth wing slash iron flame copies so i have the original one it didn't have the sprayed edges unfortunately i thought i was getting one but then i ended up buying the holiday one that has the sprayed edges i loved fourth wing so much and then i have the iron flame book here with the sprayed edges which i just loved the last one here is tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow i don't know if this is really fantasy to be honest because i haven't read it yet but um it was as tall as the other ones and i feel like it has a fantasy element to it plus look at how just freaking pretty this is and then this here is literally just the box <laughs> like i have a bunch of like box slips that i stacked into each other and i just i don't want them to get damaged and i don't want to get rid of them either so i've kind of done that i do have all these in like alphabetical order like in each section they are arranged from alphabetical order of like author's last name so the next shelf we have here i'm gonna like move my little tchotchkes that are kind of covering them the next one we have here are more like hardbacks and then it gets into all my paperback fantasies which is crazy um i'm already like losing my breath so the first one i have here is light lark Alex aster and i'm pretty sure this was a book outlet purchase and then we have masters of death by olivia blake and one for my enemy by olivia blake i actually don't mind them being separate because the like spines look different and one is taller than the other one like these too much and then those too much so i don't mind them being separate and they're kind of like right next to each other like height wise um, next we have Emily Wilde's Map of the Otherlands. Her first book is actually in my TBR cart right now, so that's why it's not here. I will show you which books I have in my TBR cart as well. Next is Belladonna by Adeline Grace. I've heard amazing things about this book, and like this cover is just so pretty. I need to take off this Target sticker though, but I haven't done it yet because I know it's going to leave behind sticky residue, and I just don't want to deal with that right now, so I'll probably deal with it when I pick up the book to read. Next is A Study in Drowning by Ava Reed. And then The Book of Living secrets um anatomy the like duology anatomy and immortality and then we have fable and namesake which i'm i want to be able to display these on my shelf this way at some point because that is just like so pretty but we'll see we'll see if i get to do that i'm not really sure <clears throat> i also have the last legacy and um, then I have the Hazelwood and the Night Country and Tales of the Hinterland goes with it and it's up here actually just because I couldn't fit it like across. Um, these are really cool. They're basically like a book about a book, like kind of like a fantasy about like living in a book world, which is really cool. So is the Book of Living Secrets. Next we have, if I go like, technically this should be down here, but I was too lazy to move it. 
um, from Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I just have the first book and I haven't bought the rest because I want to try it first and that's a really like large series to start and I haven't written like read her writing yet so I'm not convinced that I'll love it. Then we have Legends and Lattes and Bookshops and Bone Dust and then we have the second and third books in the Shadow and Bone series because the first one is on my TBR card and then Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom and then moving on there's like all of the freaking Holly Black books that you can imagine so there's I don't know how to say this actually Tith Tith I don't know but Tith whatever that is Valiant Ironside and then The Cruel Prince The Wicked King and The Queen of Nothing How the King of Elfheim Learned to Hate Stories and then The Book of Night by Holly Black and then The Good Neighbors which is a graphic novel written by Holly Black but illustrated by Ted Nef Nefe and it honestly looks so cool it's like a fairy graphic novel and I'm really excited to get into this okay next I'm gonna move you guys down. Okay, we're like all the way over here now. So here I have The Ghost Woods by CJ Cook and then um, The Serpent in the Wings of Night like trilogy slash duology with the novella by Krista Broadbent. This one back here is Piranesi by Suzanne Clark and then there's The Hunger Games trilogy, the fourth one or the prequel, I guess, um, I have on my TBR cart. And then I have Caravelle by Stephanie Garber. The second and third are on my TBR cart. And then um, The Witch's Heart by what's her name? Genevieve Gornack. And then I have Never by Jessa Hastings. This just gave like fantasy vibes. And then Stone Blind by Natalie Haynes. This is a Medusa retelling. And then Daughters of Sparta by Claire Haywood. And then up here we have The Poppy War and the Dragon Republic, which is the ter first two books in that series. And then the entire Shadow Me series, except for the last one, Believe Me, which I want to get. And I've only read the first set. I need to read the second set. And then we have Serpent and Dove, like the entire trilogy. I literally got it on Book Outlet. Like, why not? Literally the entire Twilight series, um, as well as Life and Death, Midnight Sun, The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner, and this like official illustrated guide. It's actually very, very pretty. Like, I think it's gorgeous the way that they make drawings and stuff to explain stuff. Anyway, moving on. Moving on, this is the last little fantasy shelf down here. So, I lied actually there's more um so over here so over here it starts off with heartless by melissa mayer or marissa mayer sorry and then the heart of the raven prince by tasanja odette and then there's the kiss of deception trilogy um by mary e pearson which is a prequel to the dance of thieves duology and then under that is like the book morgan by the same author next to that are the first third fourth and fifth books of the percy jackson series because the second one is in my tbr card um and then i have all of like katie roberts dark olympus books at least the first four and then court of the vampire queen which i'm very very excited about actually next is divergent um everybody knows kind of that's a movie and then behind here is actually the entire like touch of darkness series i have it in order from what like i need to read next which is a touch of ruin and a game of retribution so that's why those are first and then back here is the ember in the ashes series i have all four um i literally got the last one by accident on book outlet because i didn't realize it was the last book so i had to buy the first three and i have yet to read them but i'm really excited so at the bottom of the shelf i'm just gonna take you guys off the tripod because it's way too hard to do but then we have the hobbit and the lord of the rings series here um that's like self-explanatory um and then ve schwab books basically and then two scarlet st Clair books here as well i wonder why i did that i don't know why i did that to be honest hmm i don't know what i'm doing i'm probably gonna change that because now that's really bothering me um anyway <laughs> uh next these are basically a bunch of mysteries that are on my tbr like my mystery tbr so going through them like really quickly rouge by mona awa the writing retreat by who is this sorry julia bartz if i disappear um a siege of bitterns which like i literally got when i first started reading i have satan's affair by hg carlton and it's kind of like a prequel ish to haunting adeline and i honestly was terrified of reading it so i don't think i'm gonna read it again i'm probably gonna get rid of it but i'm still gonna try haunting adeline and then i have this like agatha christie marple kind of like it's got all of these different mystery authors who wrote a little story in it 
If I Tell Lies by Julie Clark, The Hunting Wives by Mae Cobb, The Last Mrs. Parish. My mother-in-law gave this to me and said it was really good. The Finley Donovan like trilogy, I know a fourth one came out, but like I don't want to get in until I at least read these three. The Other Husband, like literally just a bunch of like random kind of mysteries. Uh, this is an Alice Feeney book, I Know Who You Are. Down here, moving on to like more F names, um, An Honest Lie by Taryn Fisher all of us villains more than you'll ever know a bunch of like rachel hawkins books the girl on the train um a grady hendrix book how to sell a haunted house i'm really excited for that the wife between us by greer hendrix and sarah Pekinen. and then we have like the club bright young woman some St a stephen king novel uh the truly devious like trilogy <laughs> Lisa Jewell book, like the last one that's on my TBR that I have basically. Um, literally the entire Anthony Horowitz series. I don't know why. Family of Liars, which is a prequel to um, We Were Liars. Um, some Karen McManus books. She wrote One of Us is Lying, so I have a few of her other books. Um, Little Fires Everywhere, The New Husband, The Twin, The Mystery Guest by Nita Prose, and this is like a kind of like sequel to the maid the first time lauren paling died this is one of like the first books that i bought when i started reading again we have a riley sager book here home before dark the last one of his i need to read until middle of the night comes out um the framed woman of ardmore house reputation the ambrose school for girls the turn of the key in my dreams a whole knife and midnight is the darkest hour so those are all like my mystery um i literally have some books here that these i'm going to be getting rid of which i already talked about these are like also on my tbr but i don't like want to put them anywhere for some reason and then i also have these on my tbr back here that i'm not sure or, like where to put they just like don't match and i also have the never after series here and the second one scarred is actually upstairs um in the book room because i read it recently and a reading vlog for that is actually already up so you can go watch that if you want behind here i have some colin hoover books okay that's literally all the books that are like in this freaking book room so we're gonna go outside and i'll show you the ones that are like around my desk and then we'll go up to the book room like my actual book room this is literally just my closet room out here are some of my favorite books i literally have this whole shelf that's like over my desk and i did have like a rainbow kind of ombre thing like i went from like white to like purple at the end like there was pink blue green etc and then it felt like it was way too much weight for this shelf over my desk don't mind my desk um so i decided to put just my sarah j mass books on display here so i have the a Court of thorns and roses hardbacks here and there's like special dust jackets that i purchased and they're so freaking cute so i have them on there and inside of these i have the overlays and i'm not going to open them because it's just like way too much work for this video right now but um if you guys want i can show you like all of my special edition and overlays in another video the next thing here is actually just like a light box for all my acrotar girlies you know what this scene is and who these are and yeah so next we have the actor series here in the paperbacks a Court of Mist and Fury is upstairs because I'm reading it right now, so. I just turned my mic around so the audio might actually be better now. Next we have literally the entire like Throne of Glass series. So I've got these little mini versions here which are so freaking cute. The only one I'm missing is Assassin's Blade and I can't find it anywhere so I'm sad. So if you happen to have it and want to just give me it, like let me know. Um, we have this Throne of Glass Collector's Edition that my friend got me. It's so, so beautiful. And then I have the first two hardbacks because I bought overlays for them and I'm slowly going to be like buying them. And eventually I do want to get alternate covers for them. Then we have all of the paperbacks here. I liked the original covers in the paperbacks, so I got those. And then I'm getting the new covers in these. And then we have the Crescent City series. I have the two paperbacks here. And then I kind of just like, I ended up always getting the hardbacks as well like i don't know i feel like sergey mass ends up being like a display piece for me anyway moving on i have this little bookshelf down here like that's under my like monitor and printer here has the harry potter series um two and three are missing because i read two i'm reading two right now and three is on my tbr cart i have the lore olympus graphic novels as well down here is a bunch of colleen hoover books that like is literally just hiding behind my cat's little tent here over here i have a bunch of like kind of like historical fiction and a little bit of just like literary fiction down here and then behind my like camera bag here is a bunch of classics 
I do want to display these more. I also have another one of these boxes for books that I want to keep in their slip, but I want to display these more, but I don't live in a house where I can display a lot. Lastly, down here, there are some Japanese books as well as some self-help um, and like more just like nonfiction, like the Odyssey self-help kind of books over there. Okay, that's everything that's down here. So I'm going to bring you guys back up to the book room for the rest of the tour. This is what the book room looked before. It was my fiance's childhood bedroom with his brother. So they had picked this screen out when they were young and me and my mother-in-law were like, this thing has to go. So here we are just like patching up all the holes, taking out all of the old screws. Um, the room was kind of a mess clearly. So we were excited to get this done. And then this is the after. It's so much cleaner and brighter and honestly, I think it was just exactly what it needed. The room looked so dark before and now it looks so much brighter and I'm so excited to film all the videos and read all the books in this room. It's so cozy and just makes me feel so at home and I'm so glad that my mother-in-law was on board to doing this to this room. She also loves reading so it's just a room where both of us can be our most authentic selves. All right guys, we're in the book room. I'm so excited about this to be honest. And I'm just gonna jump right into it and do it kind of like how I did at the end downstairs um, and show you first where I moved the rainbow book stacks. Starting at the bottom here, oh my God, excuse the mess. You're just gonna find random stuff like my cat has brought up here like a little scrunchie. Um, so starting at the bottom down here, we have like white books and these are all romance basically or contemporary. Um, so we have white books that lead into like this light blue um, and then this turns into a dark blue that turns into like a dark green. Um, there's going to be some books that are like blocking this but it continues to be like a teal here and then green to yellow, orange, red, purple, or not purple but like a dark red and then pink all the way to purple and then there's black at the bottom there and just to show you guys like some little things i have on my bookshelf on display as well um we have the magnolia park series here which i really love and then the addicted to you series i've got these little like plant thingies from ikea here a little bit of cream this is garbage from when i we changed the doorknob to the closet here so i have to throw that out actually um, on the wall here is a picture that my mother-in-law cross-stitched for me of my childhood dog lita um, i've got my sunset lamp here my little moon himalayan salt lamp here and then this is actually a diffuser there i have some crocheted little cuties here this is one that was made by my friend Brenly Creations on Instagram. I work with her and she is just so awesome and made this for me. I also have this little mushy pop that my friend Kayla made for me at work. Um, I've got these two little like fruit ones that my friend Bianca made for me at work and we have a crochet club at work so it's super cute. And as well as like just some bookmarks sitting in here. This is also a bookmark that fell asleep in here kind of thing. I just like keep it in here. Moving on to the shelves down here. So we have a bunch of romance here and they are in order of like last name alphabetical. So just to go quickly, like the Spanish love deception, I'll tell you some of my favorites. Um, I love the not the witchy wed. I read these two. I liked terms and conditions better. Mary Jane, every summer after, meet me at the lake, the icebreaker and wildfire. Then going on to Jenny Han, the summer i turned pretty series a bunch of ali hazelwood books are here as well as emily henry there are books here for anna huang the twisted lies one is in here because it's in my tbr cart um i've got more here like i don't even want to go through all of them because there's so many like there's just a bunch of romances taylor jenkins read over here as well as like some other ones and then i have these cuties down here that i wanted to display the Toshi Kazukawaguchi, like before the coffee gets cold series. Um, the second one is missing because it's in my TBR cart. And then the Heartstopper series. The third one is missing because I think my brother has it. He's reading it. Um, and then I have Bunny by Mona Wad. Like these start like mysteries that I've already read and loved. So Bunny by Mona Wad, the Inheritance Game series. I have the paperbacks and the hardbacks. The Natural series. Here we've got His and Hers by Alice Feeney. Rock, Paper, Scissors by Ali Sphingy, Gone Girl, which is super popular, The Guest List by Lucy Foley, 
she's too pretty to burn which i really actually loved if you haven't read this it was super cute and the cover is just like gorgeous like look, look how pretty that is it is a mystery but it's also like an lgbtq romance anyway we have final support group by grady hendrix a bunch of holly jackson her a good girl's guide to murder series lisa jewel books and then the we were liars book that i was talking about earlier and then over here we have the housemaid the one of us is lying series i actually have to read the third one still nothing more to tell by the same author the midnight club silent patient the maid which i talked about earlier if we were villains riley sager who i love the seven dots of evelyn hardcastle and karen slaughter pieces of her is here as well because i haven't been able to like fit it in here it's really large here i have some classics that i put on display here we have some non-fiction that I put on display. And here is the book cart, which I actually did explain in another video. But I'll just like briefly show you guys what's in here. This has my March TBR in it. But you can go and watch the video to see what's on my March TBR. And then these are a bunch of romances that I want to read next as well as some mysteries that i want to read next i lied the um home before dark is not the last Riley sager book that i have to read the other ones are just here and then down here are some fantasies that i would just love 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 to read like please and then these are actually books that i've already read this month and there's a freaking thing of chips down there yeah guys that is the book shelf tour holy crap i can't believe i finally did this i've been putting it off for so long because i just i haven't had enough space for my books so it was kind of hard to give you guys a tour because everything was just everywhere and it was just stacks but now that they've all kind of got a spot where they can sit it was a lot easier to show you guys even though it was really hard my hope is to one day i just have like all of my books in one room like a little library room and that would honestly be awesome so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed comment down below if you liked this type of video and if you want to see me kind of go in depth to any specific shelf that you saw or specific book that you saw i'd love to talk about it in the comments or in another video anyway thank you guys so much i love you so much and i hope to see you in the next video